All of the numbers on the number line are not just put there at random places. They're put there evenly spaced and in a particular order. Smaller numbers are toward the left, and larger numbers are toward the right. And you can see that especially easily with the positive numbers. 1 is clearly less than 2, and 1 is to the left of 2, and 2 is less than 3, and 2 is to the left of 3, and so on. The farther a number is to the left, the smaller it is. And this can be a little bit confusing with negative numbers. The number negative 5, for example, which is about right here on the number line, is less than the number negative 3. You see, negative 5 is to the left of negative 3. So that makes it less than negative 3. So with that in mind, do these examples. 1,000 and 1. We can write, I'm sorry, that's a negative 1,000, negative 1,000 and 1. And we can write that negative 1,000 is less than 1, because negative 1,000 is way over there to the left. And so it's to the left of 1, so it's less than 1. Even though the number 1,000 is much bigger than 1, negative 1,000 is much smaller than 1. Here the number 80 and the number negative 99. 80 is greater than negative 99, because 80 is to the right of negative 99. And in this example, we're told to write all of the following numbers in ascending order. And that means smallest to largest, ascending, getting greater. So we pick the smallest number first, and that'll be negative 16. And I'll just cross that out to help me keep track of which ones I've written. Then the next smallest number would be negative 1. So I'll write that. And then I can write my 3. And then you can see 4 and 11 are next. So those are those numbers written in ascending order. And now we'll say a little bit about extreme values. Look at this set of numbers. And you see again here the set notation with the curly brackets there. We have a set of numbers we call the least number, the minimum. and the greatest number, the maximum. And that's consistent with the way we ordinarily use those words, minimum and maximum. Together, these two numbers, the minimum and maximum, are called the extreme values. And again, that, that terminology should make sense also. So let's look at this set. 4, negative 6, negative 2, 8, and 1. Only five, uh, five numbers in that set. We're told to find the minimum and maximum values. So the minimum would be the least number. And with a small number of elements in the set like this, it's pretty easy just to look and see that negative 6 is the least. You can just tell at a, at a pretty quick glance that there aren't any numbers less than that. So negative 6 is the minimum. And the maximum, in this case, is 8.